never easy picking up and uprooting and just coming to a new city, but what's this experience been like for you? Uh, it's a blessing just to be here, still being in the league. I mean, hey, I just got to embrace it and be ready to play. For real. What, what, have they talked to you about what the expectations are? When Chris Greer talked about you, he said they were looking for a nickel and some special teams help. Is that what you feel like you can contribute to this team? Yes, sir. I know I can contribute to that, but the role is not really identified yet, but in those positions, that's that's where I'm capable of being. Do you remember if you met with the Dolphins in the pre-draft process, either their coach or their defensive coordinator? I think so, yes, sir. I'm trying to remember, when you were drafted, who would have been the head football coach? Was it Mike McDaniel or Brian Flores? Probably Brian Flores. Yeah, I, was, okay. I wasn't too much sure. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember, so I'm, you, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> have you spent a lot of time in South Florida in your lifetime? Or? Not a lot of time, just vacation. Like, Tell us about your special teams experience, how, how extensive is it? Yeah, just, just being available and wherever, wherever coach wants me on the field, to make a play, I'm gonna go do it. Did you play it in college? Uh, no, sir. Not really. Not much. I can say that, but uh, and in so the league. I, I was talking to Danny Crossman, the special teams coach here, about coaching guys up who hadn't played in college. Tell me about the challenge of learning special teams in the yeah. NFL kind yeah. of on the fly. Going in with the Cowboys, CJ Goodwin, he was a good mentor to me. So just taking it all in and being able to showcase what I could do with my talents, put it all together. So. Just having mentors and having a coach that believe in me and knowing that I can do what I can do, and I went out and did it. So I'm gonna keep on. Is that a tough challenge to undertake, or do you kind of it's, it's kind of football and you learn it like you would learn any other job? It's football, and it was kind of tough because I was, you know, focused on playing defense. But I mean, it's a part of the game. So special people do special things on special teams. So I guess I'm one of them. So I watched I watched the um, rap video that you made and. I don't know a lot about rap, but I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, what What do you love about music? Uh, just help me vent. Just get out, you know, different hobby besides just football. Do you, is it something that one day you would like like to do a concert? Have you ever done a concert or made no, a full sir. album? No, I made a lot of music though, but I haven't did a concert. I'm not looking to take it that serious, maybe, but. Just focus on the football right now, and then all that can be There are a lot of guys in the locker room who make music. Yeah. Jalen Phillips has made music. Teron Armstead has made music. Help me out. Who else? Yeah. Who else? Yeah. Duke Riley has released. Yeah. You gotta look up Duke Riley. Do you know Duke Riley yeah. from LSU? From LSU. Have yeah. you ever heard his music? Not yet, but I'm okay. looking to it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna tweet out both of the all songs. <laughs> Maybe see who gets more votes. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Why well, I got me for not knowing this? Have you played much in the nickel and slot at LSU for your first year in Dallas, or did you only start playing nickel last year in Dallas? Well, last year in Dallas. Really, this year on the off season, but. It's my first time, man. It's been smooth so far. What what skills do you have? What you think huh. you would make you effective Just playing? In this aggressive, getting to the ball, tackler. I'm, I'm all at whatever you need. <laughs> there, there's always this expression, sorry, but there's always this expression in sports that for high draft picks, maybe who don't get a ton of playing time with the first team, the ch quote change of scenery yeah. can help. Did you believe in that sort of? Yes, thing? sir. I play, I played a lot, and I feel like I'm just in the right right place where somebody need me to showcase my full potential. I was asking one of the corners about you and he said you were quote fast as hell, which is uh, good. What's the fastest for you, bro? 428. Like, what was it? 428. 428? Four, yeah, two, oh, that's right up there with Tyreek yeah. and Jalen. Yeah. This is a fast squad. Do you, did you, do you realize how many fast guys are in the room? Yeah, it, it's a challenge. <laughs> Don't make me better. Tell me about playing slot because I know sometimes guys say there's a lot of traffic in there that you have to kind of fight through and navigate your way through. What, what, what do you think about the slot versus boundary, the differences? Just got to be aggressive as hell because, you know, you got to make that tackle. Them linemen come, come getting up on you, you got to get them off you. So it, it's, it's pretty much different from outside because it's a lot more contact. For real. My friend Omar is always looking for a gunner. <laughs> right? Well, tell me about that. The true. guy that runs yeah, down, absolutely. he was Tough supposed job. to be the first guy to get there, right? Facts. Have you done that? Can you do that? Yes, sir. You have done it? Yes, sir. What What makes someone good at that? Just being able to fly around, make plays, put the defense in good, good field position, you know, get the ball back to the offense. So. You, you have 
Davis, I think like a seven-time pro bowler is your position coach with Sam. Yeah. You have Vic Fangio, who's like a legend as a coordinator. Do you think those two guys can help you maximize? Yes, sir. I can see it already. Just putting all, putting it all in, playbook, just being ready. So whenever my name called, I'm going to be able to make plays.